Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Career Q. In today's video, as you would have already seen, uh, we'll be trying to discuss on the different factors between Wipro and Capgemini so that you are able to take a decision of which organization will be the best fit for you. Okay, so do watch the video to the end. And before we start today's video, if you are if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, do subscribe. And with that being said, let's get started. So Wipro and Capgemini, both are MNCs and both of uh, them are, you know, mass recruiters or they take in a lot of pressures in their organization and give them a job and a chance to enter into the IT world. Both of these are service based companies. So they have these, their projects are on similar terms. Now, any IT industry, any organization for that reason is divided into three main uh, divisions or sectors, that is the development sector the testing sector and the support sector right so the entire IT industry can be divided or rather subdivided into development testing and support so these are the three roles for which uh, the engineers or for which students like you and me we are hired Wipro and Capgemini both are the big names of the hirers so if we see uh, firstly the position or the role or the designation in which these two uh, organizations hire mostly are for Wipro it is project engineer and for Capgemini it is analyst. So these are the two major roles on, in which uh, these organizations hire the freshers. If we compare their salaries then Wipro offers a base a salary of 3.5 LPA and Capgemini offers a base salary of 4 LPA. Of course, I've said this a lot of times. Anytime your salary is not, you know, 3.5 divided by 12 or 4 divided by 12. So your enhanced salary that you can expect when you are in Wipro after, you know, all the variable pay and all the uh, other things are cut. After that, the enhanced salary that you can expect out of uh, this 3.5 LPA per month is 24 to 25K. That is how much you will be getting if you join in Wipro. Now, for the 4 LPA uh, within Capgemini, the enhanced salary that you can expect is between 27 to 28K. Okay, so there will be a difference of 2.5 to 3K monthly if you join in either Wipro or Capgemini. Okay, so now the next very important factor that freshers are bound to are the bond agreement okay so the bond agreement uh, period and bond amount is something that matters a lot so within wipro we can find that this bond period is for just one year the bond amount is of seventy-five thousand rupees so uh, if you see wipro it's one year and seventy-five thousand rupees of bond agreement now if we come to Capgemini, Capgemini has its bond period for two whole years and the bond amount is 2 lakh rupees. Now there are a lot of discussion that can happen around the bond uh, thing and I have discussed about the entire bond structure of Capgemini in another video. I have put the link of that video in the description box. Do give it a watch uh, to know more for yourself. Coming back to the point. Uh, the duration for Capgemini's bond agreement is much more than Wipro and also the bond amount is much more than Wipro. So here I think Wipro has an extra edge. Now coming to the training, training, uh, uh, training is something that both uh, Wipro and Capgemini provides to its freshers or new joinees and the training duration for Wipro is three months which is the same for Capgemini. Uh, it can be, you know, you can say it is divided to 2.5 months of training and then 0.5 months you are given for the final project, okay, or the major project that you do with your, uh, you know, all, all your teammates. And so uh, the training is more or less the same. After the training gets completed in both the organizations, you will be put to bench. So bench is a period that uh, you cannot avoid. It's not like if I go into uh, this organization, I will not have my bench period or I will not have that bench time. That's not there. Bench is something that is common in the IT sector and it's everywhere, anywhere and everywhere you want to go. So uh, you will be put on bench and then you will be receiving project calls and then you will be selected in a project and that's how you uh, finally sit and join in a project and work in that. Now again, once you have joined a project, you need to, before you know you are released, you need to work within that project for 18 months. So this duration is also the same for both Wipro and Capgemini. 
okay so here uh, within wipro also you need to work for 18 months before you can change in change a project and in capgemini also the policy remains the same now if we talk about the hike that is given after one year is uh, again more or less the same for both the organizations that is uh, it is five to eight percent it's the actually it's given the average hike is given for all and it is five to eight percent in wipro and it is five to eight percent in capgemini as well so the hike percentage also remains more or less the same so for Wipro, one of the drawbacks that I have heard is that, you know, there is a band, B3 band, and before you reach to this B3 band, you need to give in a lot of exams. All these exams are related to whatever work you're doing or it is related to the domain that you're put in. However, you know, managing those exams with... Uh, simultaneously with the project work becomes very difficult and uh, the employees have somewhat complained about it that is what I've heard that you know there are a lot of exams before you reach a particular designation so that is something that Capgemini doesn't have you know there is no such thing like uh, internal exams of course there are mandatory trainings that you need to do but that is some that is different uh, apart from that there is no uh, internal exams that you need to keep on giving and giving in order to reach a particular designation that's not uh, how capgemini works so work is uh, you know all the time that you have you will be devoting it to the project so you will be knowing your work better you will be knowing the concepts better and you know uh, you will get a uh, much more time to deal with the project issues and all of those kind of things so you know work-life balance becomes a bit easy when it comes to Capgemini because these exams are not there one drawback that Capgemini has is that uh, Capgemini does give a variable pay or the bonus pay you can say year on a yearly basis okay so Capgemini so whatever bonus is there that there is one month uh, maybe in April or May that is uh, the bonus pay is given to all the employees uh, for Wipro I have heard that this bonus pay is given quarterly okay so whereas in Capgemini you get it on a yearly basis in Wipro you get this bonus pay or your variable pay on a quarterly basis okay guys that is all that I have uh, for you in today's video these are the major uh, segments or the major uh, differences that uh, you need to take care of or you need to know more about uh, when you are deciding to join in any organization of course once you are within the organization you know your teammates your mentor your manager team lead all of these kind of things and of course the domain in which you are selected and you're kept and how much you are liking it these are different things and these are some things that you cannot really control and no one uh, external can tell you about it but these are some of the factors the, the factors that i have discussed pre in this video these are some of the factors that might help you into deciding which organization is better suited for you so if you like today's session put a thumbs up if you have not yet subscribed to subscribe our channel and uh, if you have any other queries put them down in the comments i will uh, try to answer each and every one of you and thanks for watching career Q. until next time take care bye bye